I absolutely love working at Rose Theatre. Uh, as you know, I did uh, the three plays comprising the Wars of the Roses um, at the Rose Theatre. And it's a wonderful place to do a Shakespeare play because the theatre has got that um, ground plan of the original Rose Theatre on, on the back side. The play deals with only a very few ingredients of King John's reign. It omits um, all the things that you would expect to be there. I mean, there is no mention of Robin Hood <laughs> and um, no mention of Magna Carta. Um, or all the things that we, we tend to associate with King John. Um, instead, I think what Shakespeare's doing is writing an issue play rather than a history play. And the issue that he's addressing is expedience and deceit in politics. He's saying um, we, are, we are all governed, we are under the control of politicians, be they, be they royal or, or um, uh, in the case of King John, um, from um, the Vatican uh, or um, politicians of different countries um, we're under their control and we in some way rely on them uh, behaving truthfully and reporting truthfully to us but the reality is that that is not in human nature in human nature what happens is deceit um, politics equaling expedience or compromise or U-turns, um, vows are broken, um, people are forsworn, and the play repeatedly goes back over those issues. Politicians are on our screens every evening. We are being um, confronted with elements of the American election and all the extraordinary things that are being claimed by the left side of the argument and the right side of the argument. And we know, we sort of cynically know full well that most of those things can never become a reality. And then we are bombarded by the Brexit debate. Um, should we be in, should we be out? A very, very similar to issues that take place in King John. Should we be united with France? Should we be the enemy of France? Should we submit to the papacy? Should we stand out against it? All of those things are being heatedly debated. The, the story appears to be that Shakespeare at some point during his career was asked if he would rewrite an earlier play and the earlier play was called The Troublesome Reign of King John and probably was performed 10 or 15 years earlier than Shakespeare's play and it seems to be he's taken lots of ingredients of that play and reworked them and transformed them but in the process doesn't bother with telling the whole story. And some people feel maybe he left the project early and, and it was handed over to somebody else. I don't know. But um, what I've done and what many, many people doing productions of King John have done in the past is to go back to the troublesome reign of King John and to find little passages here and there that help to, to tell the narrative. So, um, uh, yeah, I've done that research and I think if Shakespeare was in the room, he would say, great, absolutely terrific, make sense of it, come on, make it work.